Okay, so we're going to be doing a review of So Easy's uh, first single off his upcoming project, Too Young Again. This one is called Live Young. The single isn't out yet, but I got to hear it early access, so I thought that was pretty cool. So Live Young, I really like the song Live Young. The song is basically about if So Easy never had, you know, a wife or kids, and basically how he would live life. Like if he didn't have wife or kids, it's about how he would live, living young, you know, doing ignorant shit. You know, buying, you know, driving in cars, getting money. So that's what the song is basically about. All the verses and the hook. It's basically talking about a life he would live if he didn't have a kids or wife. So that's what the song is about. For the most part, I do like the song. You know, overall, I don't know why I say the most part. I like the song in general. For the beat, to the hooks, to the hook, to the rapping, to the lyrics. It's all good. You know, the hook's really good. The hook kind of has a mainstream feel to it in terms of the lyrics. That's it, you know, the main, the mainstream, the mainstream feel in terms of the lyrics, what he's saying, and the hook. And the rapping is put together good, you know, the verses are enjoyable. I really do like the beat as well, I think the production, it's hard to explain what the production is like, it's like kind of a, I don't know, it's kind of, I never, it sounds like some kind, it sounds like something from 8-bit Nintendo, I don't know, just something in that beat is like, dun, dun. I don't, I don't know what that sound is, you know, when, you know, when you people hear the single, eventually maybe you can tell me what it is, but. I don't really know what that sound is, but it goes good with the beat. So, overall, I would give Live Young by So Easy. I, this, this song, I'd give it a 10. It was enjoyable to listen to. You know, it was interesting. The hook was a lot of fun. The beat was great. The rapping was cool. I like the verses, the way the flow was with the beat. The flow was good as well. Him talking about, you know, living young, living dumb, doing ignorant shit. If he, did, if he didn't have a... It's basically, it's basically kind of like a what-if type song, but with cert, certain things that are not happening not happening in his life so that's what i thought give it a 10 it's a great song and uh now you're gonna see the interview with so easy number five was this new project fun to make yeah this project was actually really fun to make um i would say to be honest it may even have been more fun and the truth be told, I don't do this volume two mixtape, which is crazy because truth be told, volume two is honestly the most fun project I've ever made because I was able to do a lot. I remember you, um, if you remember when I first made it, released it, you were asking me, you know, was it a fun project to make? And you asked me the same thing about that. That's still a fun, fun project to make, but um, to be young again, this new EP is definitely the most fun. So, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Number four. How would you rank this new project with your other projects? First rated easily. And I'll tell you why I would uh, rank it number one. It's more introspective. So this project is about me, me, me. And even in my most introspective project, uh, Remission, that was officially two albums ago since this EP is the third album I made. And that project was about me, you know, kind of coming back to music and uh, you know, remission, you heal and you get better and you, you get back to where you were before, if not even better, and that's kind of what it was about. And um, that project was probably at least 80, 90% introspective on me. But this project is first rated easily because it's 100% me, 100% about me. So you really get to know me so easy as the artist here. Uh, number two, because it's honestly better than Truth Be Told, I Don't Do This Volume 2, which is crazy, because Truth Be Told, I Don't Do This is honestly probably my flagship project. And I don't know why, but when you listen to it, you can kind of tell this is the project that will, that this guy will always be known for. And um, that's saying a lot to say it's better than that. And I feel like Truth Be Told, Volume 2 is my best project I've ever made. And for me to say that this is better than that shows just how powerful that is. So definitely first rated, you know, if it's better, if truth be told, volume two is better than all my other projects to me. And I think this is better than that, then, you know, clearly it's ranked up as number one. So to be young again, it's going to be a hot boy. And you're going to see why when you, um, when you hear it, it's a, it's a really hot project. Number three, is there a certain theme for this new project? Yeah, the theme is to be young again. Um, you know, that's the title. I've said that a couple times now. Basically, what that encompasses is not just youth to be young again, but um, immaturity and the freedom to be immature and get away with it. So what happens is this. The project is about 
my desire to uh, relinquish my responsibilities and just be carefree as most people who are young are. And um, what happens is, you know, we live our lives and as kids and even teenagers, we get to be immature, careless or whatever, but we grow up, we get responsibilities and it just, you know, you go through life and you're like, man, it would be nice to just not care and get away with it like I used to when I was a kid, but you didn't really realize as a kid, you were able to do that or that you were doing it in the first place. But as a teen, you start to realize it and then you just don't care because you're a teenager. What do you have to lose? You coming up, all that matters is you. And I give an example of what I mean. The second single I'm releasing is called Careless and Maturity. And um, it's actually track number two on the album. And what it talks about is how back when I was an adult, but I didn't have all that responsibility, I was single. I didn't really care. I just did what I wanted to do. Spent a lot of time uh, hanging with hoes, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? That's what a lot of men do. I'm calling off work, barely paying my car note because I really didn't care because I knew I was going to work enough hours whether I called off or not to pay it. Didn't really have that many bills. And that kind of encompasses some of what I mean when I say to be young again, to be careless, to be immature, to be, to be youthfully careless. Track number three, which is actually titled To Be Young Again, where I'm talking about my present time, where it's like, what I have to do is be responsible even though I don't want to. And that's really bothering me because it's wearing down on me. And that's what I really delve deep into on that song. I even dig into how my wife got into an accident because a lot of you don't even know I've been married for like almost five years now. And um, like in 2014, November 2014, she got hit real bad. T-bone by this big old ram or whatever in her little car. And um, it like towed her the car. To this day, she still has like a lot of pains on it. It really messed her up basically. During that time or whatever, you know what I'm saying? This is me rapping about the present to be young again. I um, really get this get this thought in my head like it, it takes a lot out of me to have to be loyal faithful and also emotionally and even physically because her body a lot of stuff happening where she needs help um supportive of this woman that i honestly am feeling i'm not getting the same back not like the faithfulness and the loyalty but you know what i'm saying you have to deliver all these things that you feel like you're not getting back that same commitment is what i'm trying to say when really it's just physically, you know, she's unable to deliver in a lot of areas. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, even like little small stuff, you may be out having a good time and her body's hurting and it kind of messes up the good time because you may have to leave early. Like, little stuff like that. Like, I got to stay committed. And honestly, it's making me feel old because I officially am with a handicap. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that happens when you're in your 50s, 60s. I'm in my 20s. So it's like hitting me really hard. And what I rap about in that song, I'm rapping about it because I need to get it out and handle my emotions. People think it's a negative thing to think certain thoughts. It's not negative to think certain thoughts. It's negative to act to act negatively on those thoughts. So what happens is that's my way of getting out my emotions in a, po in a positive manner so that I can deal with myself and um and um keep the keep the the nice family I had really and um. The project really just goes back and forth between my past and my present. And um, even it even eventually talks about in the first single that's gonna be released, which is Live Young, about my present if I didn't have my wife or if I didn't have my son. And I don't know what I would be like without him, to be honest. So I can't really talk about um, what I would be like because I don't know. So I rapped about who I used to be, but in a present manner. So, you know, I'm I'm just living life, yeah, living young, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm just doing my thing. And I got my Mustang like I got now, and I'm just smashing out on all the women, little stupid stuff like that or whatever. The stuff I used to do, because that's the most I can relate. So yeah, this project is um it is deep, it's real. Number two, what approach are you taking this time with this new project? Similar answer. Uh, the approach I'm taking with this project is obviously youth, you know, to be young again, but here's the twist to it, it's happiness. You know what I'm saying? From what I've told you so far, to be honest, you probably picture it as kind of a sad project because I'm talking about these things that are really bothering me or the stupid things I used to do or maybe even would do if I was, you know, alone right now. 
So what happens is I basically took a happy approach because during all of that, I came to a conclusion. I need to uh, learn to be happy no matter what. And I'm really good at that. I've gotten excellent at that effect. And uh, that's, that's what life is about, is learning to be happy even when you're not happy. So we can be sad. It's nothing wrong with being sad, but be happy in the midst of your sadness, if you will. So you'll notice the music on this project should sound sad, but it doesn't. Most of it is turned. Like I said, to live young, I'm just living young, living young. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not, when you hear what I'm talking about, it actually is a low key sad or like, hey, I see this guy's going through some things type of thing, but you'll never get that feeling unless you pay attention to the words. And even then, it's so turned, like you're happy on the inside. And that's, that's what I want people to feel. So, um, you don't you don't necessarily have to like for me like I said dealing with my wife being like that is, is you know a difficult thing. I don't mean I gotta be sad about it. I can still be happy. So what I did was make happy music, and it happened so naturally because by the time I were I was actually making the music for this project, I had gotten to the state where I knew how to be happy regardless of how bad something may be. So um. The only song in there that actually sounds sad is To Be Young Again, because it's a lower tone beat. Everything else is nice and turnt. And uh, To Be Young Again fit the mood perfectly. It, it had, it did its job. You know what I'm saying? It was a great transition. So you will really appreciate that track. Going on from that point, what I really want to do, like outside of my music, like I said, is, you know, in life is, is be happy no matter what. So what I'm really hoping that that approach does for people is gives them that is give them that same feeling like hey this dude you know subconsciously music gets in your head so it's like if they're hearing stuff that's supposedly sad but they're hearing it in a happy way it may make them in turn you know be like super happy even the saddest of times so that's kind of um the approach i took because that's the stage of life I, i've come to and number one the final question how different is this project compared to your other projects? This project is actually extremely different um, for the same reason that I feel like it's ranked number one, actually. It's, it's really introspective. It's um, really about me. And a lot of people have found me off of this truth be told. I don't do this volume two mixtape. So what's happening is they're getting to know me for that uh, super hungry, kill the game, y'all need to step y'all bars up MC. And, and that is who I am, but that is not me personally. So this project, you get to see me in a vulnerable state. You get to really hear my pains and my, my thoughts that I keep to myself until I release them on, uh, on, on vocal tracks and stuff like that. So I think, I think this is the one for me. Because even people I know and have known my whole life is saying, when we go get a more introspective project from you. And like I said, two albums ago, Remission was the most introspective, which is highly introspective. But even that clearly wasn't enough for people. This is gonna be enough. This is definitely gonna be enough. So I'm, I'm really happy to say that because I dug deeper into myself and uh, and let out something to, to be heard that I normally don't let out to that capacity, if you will.